It's nice to be together in our last couple of weeks at the centre. What an amazing season it's been. And how many topics have come up in this space over the last two months. It's so incredible just really exploring the human experience, but in a different way. Not exploring the human experience by digging in, analysing, complicating, you know, we're, we're really kind of opening it up, shining it up, lightening it up. Because, as Candace spoke so beautifully in this talk, it's so <laughs> compelling to complicate who we are. It's so compelling to complicate who someone else is. It's so compelling to really complicate what reality is. But when we are given the introduction to open intelligence, we discover that it's so direct, it's so simple. Stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Open intelligence. Clarity, cognizance, the power to know. You know, this is really where it's all at. This is the simple yet profound, completely vast expanse and foundation of our identity. And what's so beautiful is that you know, when we recognize open intelligence and we stop thinking just for a moment, we just recognize what's looking. It's such a wonderful moment. And then the thoughts, they do come back in the identity, remembering things that have happened to us in the past, feedback we've had, ooh, feedback. Uh, things that people have said to us, um, creative things that we want to do because we want to really share something that's important to us. You know, all these thoughts and emotions, we can't, we can't stop them. Open intelligence still remains when we're thinking. It's there when we stop thinking. It's there when we're thinking. It's always on. It's fueling everything. And then all these ideas, all these concepts, all this phenomena, this beautiful display that's occurring, all of it is the dynamic energy of that open intelligence. It would be impossible to know any of the thoughts or feel any of the feelings without this power to know. And so it's so fundamental to really understand the nature of our mind. And this short moment of open intelligence, it just refreshes the whole scene. No matter what we're thinking, no matter how complicated it's getting, we take a short moment of open intelligence and whoosh, it's just like we reset everything in that moment. We return to the simplicity of who we are. And for me, that was amazing because, um, you know, I understand all of these questions and I also know what it's like to have built a life based on this personal identity. You know, okay, my gender, I'm a woman, and then a whole load of data, <coughs> thoughts, emotions, sensations that go with just that one label of being a woman. And I'm sure for men, you also have a big... <laughs> experience of things there too so and then and but but you know reinforcing that identity more okay where was I born my nationality maybe my religion maybe my education am I intelligent or not am I a creative person you know all of these ways that we've identified ourselves you know and again we take no extremes in this training However, when we go to the simplicity at the basis, when we recognize open intelligence, that really just takes care of all the elaborations. You know, just as when we were a very young child, we didn't really think so much about all of these things. And so for me, it was a great relief to have worked on this identity so much. Career, that was also a big one for me. What's my job? What do people think about it? What does it say about my role in the world? And then have this idea so fixed and then come to a meeting like this and just feel some ease in who I was. Just suddenly feel, oh wow, I don't have to hold anything together. I don't have to prove myself. And that was very helpful in terms of, um, 
self-criticism and also being with other people because the more I relaxed with my own sense of identity, the looser that got, there was less to defend with other people. And that was amazing because my whole life had been very focused on what other people thought of me also. And uh, I really, when you said about feedback, I just remember people saying, oh, can I give you some feedback? <laughs> It'd be immediate dread. It's like, don't criticize me. I'm doing my best. Don't criticize me because even though you say it's constructive criticism, I will be thinking about it for months. I will be upset. It won't be good for me. Um, and so it's really amazing to just come to know ourselves as we truly are because there's so much kindness in recognizing open intelligence because it is actually the nature of everything. It, it, is, it is what knows everything. And so this, this is just such an incredible perspective rather than trying to put together a life based on fleeting appearances, thoughts and emotions that always change. So we come to find some stability you know, open intelligence is not something new that we're getting here. It's naturally present. It's always naturally present. What, what we're being introduced to is just becoming familiar with what's already naturally present. You know, being given the introduction and then an amazing practice so that we can just get used to this. Because perhaps it's just gone completely unnoticed for most of our lives. So that's amazing. So the short moments are really simple and practical, short moments of recognizing open intelligence repeated many times until our open intelligence identity becomes obvious all the time. So this is what the practice gives us and we can just completely trust in each short moment at a time. And again, no need to complicate it. And for me, I just find it really easy being you know, in the community doing the trainings and the 12 empowerments that really that is a, just a perfect place to just allow the short moments to come about naturally, to allow the instinctive recognition of open intelligence to come about, because that's really what we want. We want open intelligence to, to bring results into our life. I mean, why are any of us here? You know, we want some kind of results, whatever it is. We want to feel more ease. We want better relationships with ourselves, our friends and family. Maybe we have great talents and we, we know we're limiting ourselves. Whatever it is we're looking for, we want a result. And we want a teaching, a training, a workshop, a, a lifestyle that gives us those results. And that's what we can get here. And so recognizing open intelligence, it, it, you know that all data is the dynamic energy of open intelligence. There's no longer anything that's outside of open intelligence. It's inseparable. Open intelligence and data inseparable, like the color blue in the sky, like the breeze in the air. So something like guilt is amazing to take short moments with. You know, there is nothing different from guilt than any other of the data streams. And I used to make a lot of decisions based on guilt. And when I consider the decisions I made based on guilt, I can't actually think of one that was really beneficial. You know, trying to relieve myself in that moment of a fleeting appearance that was the dynamic energy of open intelligence, <laughs> it didn't inform my decision making. Taking short moments with guilt, allowing guilt to appear in its vibrant <laughs> form, you know, like a rainbow in space, you know, vivid, but completely ungraspable, just letting everything be as it is, then we, we start to just... Uh, make natural decisions and you know something like purchasing I mean it's a great thing it can bring up lots of data what to buy how much you know I just find that the more I've relaxed and open intelligence um, all kinds of decisions they they just make themselves very very easily and sometimes very spontaneously also and I just trust that there's a natural knowing when I'm not emphasizing all my thoughts and emotions all the time So yeah, we can just be happy to be with, with everything just as it is and that just takes a bit of time in the beginning but then it starts to feel good. It starts to feel good not to have to try to be someone. 
not to have to try to have certain kinds of thoughts and emotions. It's an endless struggle. And we don't want to struggle because, you know, when I think of my life, I was struggling so much with myself. <laughs> it's like a sort of a little project where you just don't see the world. You don't see other people. And I remember after I did the 12 empowerments, wow, really looking at people when I was speaking to them, really sort of seeing the person, listening. You know, because I was no longer so busy trying to work out everything I thought and felt. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad to take up that kind of approach to life where we constantly think we have to fix ourselves and then we constantly try and fix up everyone else. And actually, just one short moment, just it's a pure blast of complete refreshing openness. And that's available in every moment. So I'm, I'm just I'm so grateful to have the simplicity, but the results aren't simplistic. That's really great. The results are profound. And we know from speaking to one another, and we know in our own experience, when we really apply this teaching, and when we really just embrace all the support that's available, we start to see pretty radical results. So from great simplicity comes pure potency and power, complete empowerment for the benefit of all.